Hey guys, welcome to another channel episode. This is a channel where we prove that you don't need to be a CEO in order to have some impact on the world. And today we're going to be talking about data tools. In this episode, we're going to be going over a website that has been very helpful in my data science journey. And I'm sure many of you will be able to find some value from this website as you continue on through your learning career. Now, this website is called Coursera. It's called Coursera.ai. What's really good about this website is that it works as an assessment, but it also works as a potential how to prepare to be a better data scientist. It helps you further your journey while also telling you where you're at. And I find that so, so important for people who are just starting or have already started their data science journey. So let's just say that you've been studying data science for a couple months, you're starting to get pretty good. You would even go as far as say that you, you know, you know, some machine learning, you know, the basic statistics, you've done some data science projects before, but you don't really know how to improve and how to get to that standard that you're always comparing yourself to people out there, data scientists that have had jobs for many years. And you're like, I'll never be that good. If that's you, let me tell you that those people who you look up to, they started where you are before, they were exactly in your position. The only difference is that they had more time and they put more effort into getting to where they are now. So all you're missing is a good standard to put yourself at and then improve over time. So one of the things I find people who are kind of stuck in this limbo is to actually look at yourself where you are now and where you've come from and that will help you realize that, that you can do a lot in a very short period of time. You can be exponentially better than you really were just a couple of days ago, even a couple of months ago. In fact, I would go back to say that one of the best tips I have for people learning data science is to compare themselves to where they were a week ago as kind of a standard to see, hey, am I learning week, week and week? You know, every week that goes by, am I better? Because if you were to do that for three months, right? Just three months, 12 weeks, you'd be amazed by how far you can get in your data science journey. Now, one thing that really helps though is to have kind of a skeleton guide of how to get there and also where you are now and starting out. Because there's tons, tons of guides on how to propel yourself forward, but not all guides are starting at your point. So that's what I want to teach you guys about today. It's this website that does exactly that. Now, this website is made by the people who make deeplearning.ai and they are very knowledgeable in what it takes to be a data scientist, what it takes to do machine learning at jobs and have a career in that. And so they got all their knowledge and they put it into this website and into this assessment. Now, the assessment comes in a couple of different flavors. Each assessment takes around 20 minutes to do, and I'm going to show you guys right now. So you have AI literacy, you have a machine learning, you have data science, you have deep learning, and then you got software engineering, algorithmic coding, and mathematics. Those are the tests and assessments that you can take, and these are the tests and assessments that they thought are crucial for having a career in data science. Now, I would like to say that that is only half of what this website really has to offer. But I'm going to start talking about that and I'll talk about how to improve later on. So when you first log in, you're going to have to make an account. You make the account and then it's going to tell you to take these tests in order to basically do anything else. Now, these tests, I would say one of the most important things to do is you know, block out a chunk of time in your day. You can take it over a couple days, but I would suggest try to finish it in one day. Take the whole assessment. It should take around two hours max and you actually have the option to kind of pick a different route do you want the data science route do you want the machine learning route i would honestly suggest people to take all the exams and if they really want you can opt out of exams if you really want you can opt out of a software engineering one if you're like super data science focus now if someone that's more machine learning focused maybe you need a little bit more software engineering and it's just good to know for your career but that's the one that I decided to opt out in and I'm definitely going to take it later on it's just that at this point in my data science journey I didn't feel 
comfortable taking it, but I did take algorithmic coding and mathematics. Those I do really suggest you take. Now, these tests judge you in a percentile format where you are basically compared to everyone else who has taken this exam. And that's really, really useful. And it also gives you a grade. Now, this grade isn't a letter grade. It's more of a, a word to describe where you are in your journey. And it's split, I think, into three or four, which is one is accomplished, which is what I got in the AI literacy. I also got that in the machine learning. For the ones that you're still developing, they give you a developing. That one's under accomplished. Accomplished would be the highest. Developing would be second. And then you have a beginning which is what I got on my algorithmic coding. I'm not much of a coder yet, right? And mathematics, I also got beginning. Now, I feel like I could have done way better on these two exams because I forgot one thing, and what I forgot was to get pencil and paper. So I just put that into your list. If you're going to take this, remember to actually rem bring pencil and paper because these these tests are, you know, they're they're judging you. They're trying to find your maximum potential and when it starts getting more complicated you're, you're gonna wish you had pencil and paper that's all i'm gonna say so get it beforehand because they are timed you got 20 minutes or so to take it so you got to make sure to have a kind of quick pace now once you're done that's the first part once you're done it kind of gives you a baseline and this baseline is important because what you're going to do now on your data science journey is to try to improve yourself, like I said, every week and not really focus anymore on trying to become like the people you see on Twitter or writing some blog posts that you're just like, oh my God, I would have never thought of that. You don't want to focus that way anymore. You know that's your final goal and, and you want to put yourself there. That's all right. That's cool. That's the first step. But the second step is actually, I'm going to say is find out where you are right now. Taste this, take this assessment and then move on to the third step, which is to try to improve yourself from where you were the week before. Don't focus anymore on what other people are doing, but focus on you improving your own ass assessment in, this, in these tests. Now, as you move up, you might see yourself go from beginner to developing, and that's a big confidence booster that you just wouldn't get if you were constantly comparing yourself to somewhere that's that's much, much higher up. So that's step one. Let's move on to step two of using this website. So as you see here, there's a feedback portion. And in this feedback portion, you have a summary that gives you kind of your performance overall, and which is nice. And it tells you the percentiles and stuff like that. But I don't really, again, I'm not really focused on comparing myself against other people right now. It's just good to know my baseline. And under there, you have a career pathway, and now you can choose, as I mentioned before, you can kind of choose your pathway and depends on which tests you take. I just took all of them so I can choose all of them. And right now I have a software engineer machine learning, but I can change just by a click of a button. Now, what's really important here is I'm looking for the go to learning button. The go to learning button is that second step, which is how you improve yourself over time. You need now that you know your baseline, you need to know which courses to take if you want to improve yourself and you want to get accomplished on every section. So here I go. Here I have my learning. And this is this is this is just amazing, guys. This shows you the learning path that you should take and which courses you should take, even down to which questions, which algorithms you need to learn and where to learn it. Down to the Wikipedia page, the article sometimes even a videos on exactly that topic, which is just phenomenal to try to fill in the holes in your learning that you've had up to this point. So let's say right here, I have algorithmic coding, which is I think my lowest. And it tells me I have seven out of 18 validated skills that I need. And on the left, it tells me, for example, number two is understanding bubble sort. And it gives me a short synopsis. It tells me the Wikipedia page, some website I could look at, articles, and then it allows me to validate. So after I click there, I take a couple questions, it validates it, and it gets added to my total validation. After I have all of them validated, what I would actually go back is I would go back and retake the test 
try to see if I could move up in the ranking. And that is my way of learning uh, data science over time. Now, if you go here, there's also this website also offers a kind of a beta, which is opportunities. I haven't yet used this skill because it's they're still developing it. Sorry, this page because they're still developing it. But really, it shows you kind of like which skills you need to get certain jobs. And if you have those skills, it allows you to apply to them. This is really, really useful for those who are just getting started in their career, trying to look at jobs and things like that. Now, I haven't used this yet because it is a new feature. I kind of still am looking to improve myself. I'm looking to get my beginnings up to developing and my developing up to accomplished. And at that point, I'll be very, very far along in my journey. I have no clue how long this is going to take for me. I don't know, but I plan on making YouTube videos nonstop talking about my journey on how to go from beginning to accomplish and, this, and the courses I took, the things I did. And I just figured that this is a great data tool other people need to know. It's kind of a new tool that a lot of people haven't talked about yet. So this is why I'm bringing it up now. And guys, I'm telling you, take this test, learn where your baseline is, and then work on improving yourself week by week. Improvement, it's possible you can learn data science so quickly in just a couple of months, max a year, you can have a, a whole entire data science career started in just a year. And these are some of the tools I'm using. And so that's all for this video. Um, I hope you liked this installment of data tools and I hope to see you in another video. See you.